<laughs> Good morning. Wow, today is one of the rare days when I did my meditation in bed. <laughs> because yesterday, I left the house just past 20 after 6 in the morning and didn't get home till nearing a quarter to 10 at night. And I had almost 400 emails in my inbox from the Paradox Man inbox, which I always try to, actually I don't always try, I pretty much always have that box emptied or all checked before I go to bed each night. And it was going on one o'clock already past, well, you know, well past uh, 11.30, I mean uh, 12.30 when I finally caught up and, and went to bed. And this morning, even though I woke up before four o'clock, well, I actually woke up, I actually woke up earlier than that. But anyway, I was awake consistently from just before four until I actually got out of bed just past five. Actually 20 after five, to be honest with you. <laughs> So it was a very long day and I, and I just, the bed felt so good this morning that the, the meditation room had to wait for later or whatever because I didn't get there this morning. Though I did do my normal prayers and things like that that I normally do. I, I Before I even start on to today's video, I do want to mention though that yesterday was probably I had more new Facebook friends, more new subscribers to my YouTube channel and friends on YouTube channel than I can remember having on a single day in a long time. And I don't even I didn't even look how many total comments uh, were given that that YouTube actually recorded and far as far as the numbers go. But it seemed like there were more comments than I've had in a long time as well and the comments were all over the place as people again were challenging me that the ninth wave didn't really accomplish what I had said it was going to accomplish and what I hoped it would accomplish. It didn't accomplish that, so just throw up my hands and admit that, that I was wrong, one person said. And there were others that saw the tenth wave as a scam and saw Carl Kalaman as a scam. And I mean, the comments were literally all over the place. Uh, some very supportive and, and uplifting and positive-minded and others the opposite. Uh, so I just want to acknowledge that I did not get to answer as many of them personally as I might have liked because there were so many of them and because I was really, really trying hard to, uh, to get it done before I went to bed. And of course, during the time that I was working, more kept coming in. So it was probably over 400 new emails bef that I cleared th through before I went to bed last night. And that's just one email address. Bear in mind that I get email responses. I have seven email addresses, five of them on Roadrunner. And uh, the Roadrunner ones are all active. I don't always check my Yahoo and, and Hotmail accounts on a regular basis. But the, all of the Roadrunner accounts, all five of those accounts get checked all the time because that's part of my, part of my email program. And they're all there on the, same, on the same program, basically the same page, just in different boxes. So all of that is preliminary to before I even talk about what I did yesterday. So the title for today is 10th Wave moving towards a real republic. And my little blurb went like this. Yesterday, I met Tim Turner and a few others in the Republic for the United States of America for the first time. Tim is, as would be expected, a controversial figure. He is president pro tem of the Republic. What he and others shared was amazing, including much information about how to lawfully and peaceably reclaim the United States and bless the entire world. I truly wish the information could go viral on the internet and even mainstream media. Yes, there is an actual plan 
to turn the world around and make it work for everyone. And I've taken the time this morning that I don't usually do to, to, to list the tags. And the tags are for today, Tim Turner, Republic for the United States, Revealing Fraud, Government Corruption, Banking Scam, Court Chicanery, Occupy Wall Street, and Perspectives. And I will probably add more because I can only limit, uh, there's only a limited amount that I can add initially in Facebook, but then once I actually get the video up, I can add many more as I choose. But those are the ones that I've chosen for today. Anyway, I got to admit, number one, that Tim Turner looks a lot younger than he actually is. For some reason, I expected him to be taller than he is. Um, but one thing that I guess didn't really surprise me because I have listened to him different times and I have seen seen him in some videos. I truly get the feeling, the impression, heart to heart, that he is a man of integrity. Now, if you look at some of the propaganda that's out there about him, you wouldn't think that. I've seen the propaganda. I've seen the stories. I've read some of the some of the things that people say he's done and didn't do and et cetera, et cetera. But my gut feeling, my heart feeling was that he is a, a sincere man. In fact, all of the ones that I, that I got to meet yesterday from the national level and from other states that actually came in and the room was, the, the room had, didn't, didn't have enough chairs in the room to seat everyone. So it was a very good turnout and it lasted <laughs> It lasted from nine o'clock in the morning until uh, it was supposed to stop at six six o'clock, but we didn't actually get out of there till seven thirty. Uh, and then, it, 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 thank God, driving home was a lot faster than driving there, since driving there was it was rainy and a lot more traffic than there was at night. So the the ride home went only slightly over two hours rather than almost two and a half. So that was a good thing, but it was a very, very long day and a very informative seminar that we held. I mean, the, if I could only share just some tidbits of information, one of the important things that I learned yesterday, and it wasn't from Tim Turner, it was from, a, there, were, there were actually four different speakers that were there yesterday. Tim was just one of them. But the whole way that they do deeds in the United States, and I don't know about the rest of the world, but in the United States is total fraud. I mean, it is a total fraud the way the, the system and the corporation has set up the deeds to our property so that we don't even own our property, so that we, it, the whole system is geared toward us giving up our rights and toward a deception and a fraud that, it, that enables the government to take possession of our wealth and deprive us of our rights and our happiness and everything else. I mean, they, they taught how to reclaim your own property, the lawful way based on the, the what's in the law books, the law that the, the, the de facto government has actually set up. If they would go by their own laws, and if we knew the law, we could actually change the world. We could change our lives. We could empower ourselves and enrich ourselves beyond belief. But as long as we keep ignorant of the facts that these that these brilliant visionaries are bringing to us, and they they have they are they continue the republic continues to gather a, a legal team of experts and powerful people all over the world, some of them within the corporation, some of them within the de facto governments. But in Europe and and all over the world, there are there's 130 nations that uh, that are ready to back the Republic. As soon as it, as soon as the finances can be released to the Republic, the Republic is going to take off like you wouldn't believe folks and, be, and bear in mind, that all of us that hold offices in the Republic and in the various states are holding them on a pro tem basis. We're holding them in trust for all of the people. 
That's the whole thing. It's not like we're we're trying to to empower ourselves the way that the the way that the current governments have empowered themselves. And it's not about fraud and deception. It's about telling people the way it really is, revealing the actual laws. Because the current government derives its power through the ignorance of people. We talked, they talked about, there were different speakers actually that mentioned the Wall Street movement, uh, the, the, Occupy, the Occupy movement, the Occupy the World movement. And unfortunately, Tim and others still see this as a move of Satan, that's a move of Lucifer, and they're still in the mindset of a spirit of spiritual warfare, which I have talked about in previous things. Maybe I'm too idealistic. I don't know. But you know, if you've been listening for any length of time, that my my take is that God is working this whole thing out. It's all God's plan. It doesn't matter what the dark forces do. It's part of God's plan. Well, not everybody sees it that way. In fact, most people still don't see it that way. So I'm in a I'm in a very small minority, probably. Well, I don't know how small it is. It's maybe much larger than I imagine. But I'm in a minority, certainly in that room yesterday, of people that I talked to and people that I heard from that don't see the the world as a spiritual warfare. Yes, I'm aware that the Occupy Wall Street is infiltrated by organizations like MoveOn.org which is a left-wing George Soros thing. I know that, that the Illuminati and the, and the dark forces have infiltrated the Occupy movement. That, it's inevitable that they're going to do that. I don't believe they will succeed. Tim Turner and others are fully convinced that, that ultimately they will have their way by, by turning the Occupy Wall Street movement into riots, riots and then be able to uh, impose martial law and and it will turn ugly. I see it tur not turning ugly. I'm sorry, I have a different vision. And and I think my vision is more holistic. I think it's, for some people, it's not realistic. It's very idealistic. But that's what I really see and feel is ultimately happening. Why I go with the resonance. Why I don't just throw in the towel and say, well, the ninth wave didn't work. Carl Kalaman lied. And all the people that believe in the ninth wave were deceived. It was part of an Illuminati plan, which were many emails about that yesterday. Comments all over the place. But I'm telling you folks from my perspective, I'm sharing you my perspective with you, that I still see much good coming out of everything that's going on in the world. I see this process as leading towards something that's positive and powerful. And again, I want to say that education is one of the most important things for every man and woman that's part of this movement and, is, and isn't yet part of this movement. Educate yourselves about the financial system, about the way the courts work, about the way the banks work, about the way the whole structure, the whole matrix is set up. Learn how that works and understand that there's remedies. The whole thing yesterday was about remedies, about remedying a bad situation and turning it around and making this bad situations good, making the vic taking back our power, giving up being a victim, and 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 turning our whole life situation and as well as our community and world situation around, so that truthfully, truthfully, the whole world can work for everyone. There is a plan. There is an actual plan, lawful, uh, based on actual law that's irrefutable, that's printed, that's documentable. We need to educate ourselves, folks. I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, if we don't educate ourselves, we will lose. If we educate ourselves, knowledge is power. And when we are empowered, we will take our stand in truth, in love, in light, in compassion, we will take our stand and darkness cannot succeed in overcoming us again. It cannot succeed in doing that because we have integrated it and healed it through knowledge, first of all, through gaining an understanding and taking positive action. 
positive action, not negative action, not fighting, but standing firm in truth. That's what sets us free. I'm convinced of it, absolutely, and I will continue that message as long as spirit em empowers me to do so and gives me the, I mean, I'm committed right now to continue through the 11th of, of November. That's all I'm committed to at this point in time. But let me tell you, if spirit has me going further, then I have to go further because I want this thing to move quickly. I'd like it to move more quickly than it is, but yesterday was uplifting and encouraging on most res in most respects and on most levels. It was very encouraging because it was firmly implanting truth about both the corruption and the remedy for the corruption. And hopefully I will be able to share more on this later and provide more videos where you can get information. But for now, that's all I'm going to share. I thank you for listening from the bottom of my heart. Namaste. Thank you.